Hello and welcome to Panthe Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for this episode. And as you might have noticed, Morrowind has had gone on a kind of hiatus. This is simply... <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to explain it while we're heading over to Balmora. And I'm also going to explain why we're doing this. So I went on hiatus because I had a little trouble with recording. The thing is, when I'm recording Morrowind, I need to be on this specific computer because the, all the settings, the mods and everything are on this computer and it's really hard to actually, you know what, let's walk from Cedrith Mora. No, Cedrith Mora was this place. Okay, um, I mix, mix that up with Cedrith. I am never um, too busy. Good yeah, I'm, I'm currently talking to the people behind the fourth wall. Thank you very much. So, um, uh, so I need to play it on this PC because of the mods and the save games, and they are hard to transfer. So, um, with with OpenMW with Morrowind, where well, the mods are kind of, but the the save games are in the Steam Cloud. Um, the save games are also. Uh, nonetheless, um, I'm, I'm kind of locked to this PC. With my German Let's Play, I'm not, because uh, it's it's all the settings, everything is just in, in with GOG. Um, so I could record the time lapses at my normal PC. The reason why I can't record, could not record here, is that for some reason the um, heating in this room did not work properly, so it got really, really cold. I actually got a cold, caught a cold from recording um, Albion down here. And so I wanted to record Morrowind right after the last episode aired so there would be an episode um, right before that but sadly I did not manage to do so so I announced a hiatus and I just recorded Albion on my regular PC that I'm normally sitting at which is not in the cellar which is in a warm room but which has not OpenMW installed well, I find myself in pleasant and does not have the mods and all of that stuff so should Why am I going to Balmora? Well, a thing that I did do, and yes, I know I ignored our dear friend Ajira here. A thing that I did do, though, uh, it was prepare a little bit for the recording. Um, I say a little bit because I actually did not rewatch the last episode, and don't yeah, I don't care what you have to say. Um, and uh, so, I know that last episode I did a lot of planning on what to do, and I have no clue what I planned. I know that I do have some things selected, if I can just show it here. Um, like getting the ring of some one east of Balfell, but I have no clue where that is. And training alchemy up. Okay, yeah, that is um, uh, that is something that I could do. But the thing is, I don't know where Balfell is, or, um, well, uh, kind of officially, because I did look it up, and um, there is no hint for me for, in the game right now. By the way, if you have something to drink, now is, as I'm doing, a good time to take a sip. If you don't have any, something to drink, now is a good time to pause the video and fetch something. So, let me wait until you're back <clears throat> from drinking or fetching something to drink. Okay, so I... Um, did check where um, where this ring, this engraved ring with the initials S and C, goes to. But the thing is that the um, that the wiki did not know this quest. So this must be a quest coming from some kind of mod. So I decided to just, you know, to just make the main quest go a little bit further, because I don't know what to do. So let's advance the main quest by one quest and then see where it takes us. Um, so this means if I go to the to-do list, um, I have this getting the ring. I'm turning this off because I don't know where it is. Um, and this find SC in Ebonheart, um, I have no clue where he is. But we, since we're in Balmora now, um, there is, um, this should be here. Yeah, there's this find the ruins in the sewers, um, which should be um, bringing a bringing a scarce, the skull of gratitude to someone. So this is something that um, that I'm going to do and then I'm going, just going to check for a main quest basically. So yes, 
me just open that blade. Yes, ask Chaos Casados for quests. Sadly, I can't. This is a feature that I should add. This one. There we go. So this is the ones that I'm going to do and the training. I'm going to deactivate the training because I'm just going to do this as we go. But yeah, that is basically the Skull of Gratitude and heading to Caius Casadas. This is what we're going to do. And the place is Bethuminel. So let's see. I guess we enter here. <clears throat> In the Thousand Lanterns way. Okay, since I have already checked all these people, I guess even one of them gave me the quest. Because I know that the sewers under Balmora is actually a mod. So let's check. This could be the entrance to said sewers. Or there is a different entrance way that I'm not aware of. No, that's just a door. Okay. Well, let's swim around a little more and check out places. In order to find the mentioned ruins. Seems like this is a similar. Uh, well, it looks it looks like there is this is a thing where you have a grating below that you can pull up, but it's not. It's just this ornamental thing. Oh, I forgot that you can't jump out of the water in this game. So I've been playing raft uh, uh, for a while um, with my roommate, and I'm used to jumping out of the water. Isn't there a... there should be a ramp or something for a few... What's here? That's also nothing. Shouldn't there be a ramp or something so you can just exit the water? That's odd. Could be that the one who made this mod forgot to put in a way to get out of the water. If I don't find one, I'm just going to use levitation. But I think there should be one. Okay, let us... Oh, yeah. I should also breathe from time to time. That's important. I heard. <coughs> Excuse me. There's the ramp that I was looking for. Okay. And I think this is where we want to go, ain't it? Local map. Yeah, this is the abandoned canal. I guess this is more where we want to go, or into the underground drain. Wait, what skill do we want to? Destruction to level 80. Okay, destruction to level 80, that means that we're most likely going to use spells. What kind of spell do we have ready? Uh, Firebite, okay. One that we can do a lot, which is good. Good. Okay, there is a corpse here, and there's a bone meal in the corpse. And then we have, it's, it is, uh, the water is very loud here for me. Okay, so the big rats attack, the small ones just ignore us, it seems. Well, we're just going to kill them all. Anyway, this one was blighted. Luckily, we did not catch a blight disease. There we go, the sewer rats. With their rat meat. Which actually is not delicious because I mean I'm a cat so I should find it delicious but the thing is it actually has negative effects it's first you know what I'm not going I don't want to run back and forth so let us okay, there was nothing here I'm just going to take the bottle anyway What's with our weight? Situation, 190 of 250, sounds good. Also, we're directly in Balmora, we can real, really, really fast go back and uh, sell stuff. 
to our good friends who also come from the land of the Khajiit. Uh, that is the question, Do does the panther, panther race, which I added with the mod, also come from the land of Khajiit? Well, I would say it does. Or well, like the animations, when we had them all the time, but I haven't played for a while, so I'm noticing all of this more and more. But stuff is nearly empty here, which I think is okay for an abandoned tunnel. It always struck me as a bit odd that everything was filled with various ingredients, no matter where you are. So, yeah. Destructions will increase to 75, only a few points left. So there's... Oh, this is sewer mud. This is actually stuff we can pick up. Oh, nice. I did not know. Quiet, you. There we have it. Hmm, I think I'm going to sneeze again soon. Feel the tickle in my nose. So we're going to check out these crates. I have forgotten which one I already checked. And I just noticed I can close the window with the with the use key, which is awesome. Could would be awesome if there also was a um we can wait. If the waiting should not increase. No, it does not increase my magic. So I can't use my magic anymore. Magicka potions are pretty expensive slash hard to make. Is there a take button? Let's real quick check. In the options, controls, I did not know that there was, that the activate button also closes the uh, this menu again, rest console, screenshot, blah, 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 does not seem like it. There it is. Okay. Too bad. So I still need to click in the UI for that. Oh, there was something in there. Click all. And then we have this pillow, which is called sack, but it looks more like a pillow to me. Well, basically, pillow is... In that case, a poor man's pillow, that's a sack filled with straw, right? So that's that's what I'm thinking when I see this. Let's take all of this. I know that we don't need to take everything because we, we actually are rich enough. Well, rich enough. We, we don't have the money to buy what we want to buy because the things we want to buy are super expensive. For example, glass armor. Did I? Yes, I pressed take all. Okay. I'm not stupid with the buttons that I press, as in I don't remember which ones I did press and which ones I didn't. Um, was it right clicking for? No. Middle click? No. Shift? Shift takes everything. Control? Control takes just one. Um, why am I still over encumbered? Wasn't it a Kwama egg that I took? Oh, it was a large one, I guess. Yeah, it was a large one. Okay. I'm still over encumbered. 57. Do I, do I get some drainage? Panthracite? Okay. No. No, I don't. Oh, they're all. Oh, I pressed. I pressed take. I pressed take all instead of instead of close. Okay. That was that was a bit stupid, and I'm also using the mouse too fast. Anyway, let's, let's head up. Sleeping Kaios Kasadas' bed. So we are rested again and head back. What is blocking us? Oh, this is a live red. Okay. This one too. I jump. I can't. I can't jump over this red. No, it's it's it has infinite height. Okay, now we know. Okay, so let us just explore the sewers of Bulmora. Let's head back to the Thousand Lanterns way. So the, the reason why I went on this PC, or this, this laptop actually, was that on my desktop PC, my old desktop PC, I had 
strong um, lag spikes or, or frame rate drops. Um, since I need to head back here anyway, let's first sell uh, frame rate drops, which uh, were very annoying. And my my uh, the laptop that I got from my company was way stronger, all in all. And now I have a new PC, which should be stronger, but now migrating again will be a pain in the butt. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to finish the game on this laptop here, which means I'm tied to being able to do so. On the other hand, I'm using different microphones. Uh, you might have noticed the microphone the test thing. Creatures. I hope they're not talking about me. To what do I Ajira! Good oh, it's... It's a pleasure, Ajira. I see you've mastered the, the art of levitation. That is very good, Ajira. I think I have something for you. Oh, and she also wants the Warlock's ring. But let's... Let's see. Hmm. So she's mainly interested in ingredients and stuff. Which reminds me that we should try using alchemy because we also have to train alchemy to level 50. I want to sort by effect. And I just want to see, I want to start with things like restore health. Also interesting is restore magicka if I click correctly. Yes, I assume that I have that heart. This is good. Let us just, can I press control? No, I can't. Let us just enter the huge number here to use up everything we have. Okay, so. Uh, water walking. So these are uninteresting. So let's just see what else we can do just to assure telekinesis. Oh, I already did this. I'm sorry, fatigue is what I just made. I'm just going through everything again, and I know that I skipped health because there I remember to skip. See, that's what I mean. Um, the rat meat mix makes paralyzation potions. So we can fortify strength, which would be awesome. But it seems like we can't do much here. Also, Drain Magicka. Poisons don't exist in this game. So this is that. So what I wanted to say is that I do have a new microphone right now, um, which is a clip-on micro and wireless clip microphone. So I could even take this, for example, if I if I went onto a um, onto a trip with work. I wanted to barter if I want if I went to uh, into a trip with work, then I could just go and record some episodes. Nope, I don't want to sell this. Thank you very much. That's all the ingredients that we have, and I think yeah, she does not buy that stuff. Perfect. Well, anyway, we are very happy to have seen you. Okay, so let us head over to our other friend, Ravir the Trader. You there we go. You talk too much out there. Well, you know, if I would not talk so much, that would be pretty boring for the people um, viewing this. Okay, so let's see. So we have the Dire Viper Blade. Which is a low value, actually, so we can just sell it. Um, I, I, I just checked the value because, uh, you know, he only has 600 gold. The Ebony stuff actually is pretty, pretty nice in value. It is 7,000, but this means I need to do the buyback trick thing. Um, so let's see if we can actually buy something which is interesting. Slow fall, no. Uh, I think it is Alm CV intervention, which I'm... Uh, which I'm using. So if there was an amulet of unseeve intervention, that would be awesome. Because it means that I don't use any magicka for that. 
So maybe we want we will want to create an amulet of MCV intervention at some point in time. And another sip of liquid. This is even more expensive, so this is even less good for retrading. So let's see. I can take the arrows. Oh, this this is more. I mean, I need to check that one item does not cost more than six hundred gold. Else, it won't make much sense. So let's continue looking at this six. 1,500, I mean, I could also just... Oh, an emerald which restores health and is super expensive. This is also interesting, restore strength. I think I'm just going to try buying all the ingredients. And then see what kind of uh, potions I can make. Scrap also has and it's very heavy but i'm don't care about that right now so script jelly so, so these are all ingredients that we sold at some point in time and now we're buying them back but that's okay so this is the ring we want to keep we should have some kind of lock box where we can put things in restore magica restore magica okay we do have them lots of restore fatigue actually So this is 24 points without, this is nice, restore fatigue and fortify fatigue in one potion. So this one also is not interesting. There we go. Still magical, lots of, lots of fatigue, wow. Yes, these are easy potions to make. I can always sell those bottles that we don't need, the broom in the bucket, um, what else crap do we have? We don't need this, we are a kitty, we can see in the dark anyway, and I think well, that's about it. We still have a little bit of cost, let's make this 20. Offer is refused. Okay, there we go. Warmly greeted, friend. Now let's see about the ingredients that we just got. I mean, I could also just buy all the ingredients from from Azura, and then I think I'm actually going. Ah, I should should have done this before I sold the ingredients. Actually, let's see. Restore health. Both potion failed. Restore magica. Sad. Well, doesn't very much. Restore fatigue. We are really bad right now. We're really, really, we're having really bad luck, I think. There we have potions. Cure poison. So I'm going through all of them right now because I want to level my alchemy skill and now we're just going to sell all of them again. Can I just press the down key? Yes, I can. But not if I'm here. Okay. It just, it opens the thing, but it does not go to the next entry, sadly. Okay. Willpower. And our alchemy increased. We we'll still need to increase it to 50, which means nine more. Well, we can also learn, of course. 
but if we make potions, this means we can also sell them. Drain health, drain magicka. Yeah, in the next installment of, um, of the Elder Scrolls series, we can just use negative effect potions, which are called poisons, apply them to our weapons, and then uh, if, you, if you attack, the effect will be on the enemy, not on, on yourself. Here you always drink the potion. So, and as you can see, another increase. So leveling alchemy is not that hard. You just need to take the time to actually try and make potions. Um, Paralyze, no. No resisting fire. Restoration of attributes, especially strength is also interesting. Well, sadly, no. We don't have what it takes to make a Restore Strength Potion, which is interesting because there is this curse from the Bone Walkers, I think was the name, that makes us lose health. Okay, so now we can actually go back to the barter screen. Now we have lots of potions. We keep one. I think we do have a Cure Disease. Let's see, we do have a Cure Disease spell. Um, he thinks. Uh, cure common disease, exactly. So we don't need the potion for it. Because that happens super, super rarely. Drain attribute, different levels, drain health. I mean, these are... Uh, fortify intelligence is, of course, interesting if we do... Um, if we do magic, but honestly, um, I don't, don't care about that much. Fortify Magica is interesting in conjunction with... Um, also, we have already, already too much sold, as I see. So we need to take some of these back and then wait for a day. There we go. Let's continue. So drain attribute. Fortify Magicka is interesting if with in conjunction with um, Restore Magicka, of which we have a, a good lot. We have 19. These are even default potions, so we can use this actually if we get into a fight. Uh, Levitation, we have a spell for that. We also have a lot of Restore Fatigue things. Um, I think yeah, there they are. 25 points um, and this one is heavier than these same less weight but same um, same denomination even, even less weight I think this is if you get better what happens at some point is you just you just make lighter potions you you need less liquid in the potion. You need to drink it, so there must be liquid inside anyway. My journal has been updated. Oh, we should speak about the stronghold. That's nice. That's also something we can do. Well, first let's continue here in Balmora. And I'm going to continue selling potions. I'm actually going to sell the Restore Fatigue potions, to be honest. This is more interesting. It also fortifies the fatigue. Mm, restore health, of course I'm going to keep that. Uh, water breathing and water walking, that's an interesting combination, uh, but it's also just a selling potion. So my question is, how much does this give us? How much do the ingredients, oh they weigh a lot, so I'm going to sell them all. Just because they weigh a lot. And now we need to remove, let's remove the potions. I think we actually made money on this. Um, buying the ingredients, making potions and selling them. But I'm not sure. So I'm going to sell all the restore fatigue things. Oh, there was that one that was 
you will use. And now the question is, yeah, with these together, it's too much. This just buying stuff and, res and selling it again makes us lose money. But I'm pretty sure if we're playing as an al kind of kind of alchemist, it will make us win money. So here we are. Going to sell even more. Wait another day. And then let's see what else do we have to sell. Just let's see, we have these that I want to keep, the wizard stuff, which I, we might need. These way nearly nothing, so I'm going to keep them for now. Seems like we're good now. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so this means we are now going to head over and head back to the sewers. And I would say, while I'm heading to the sewers, I say goodbye to you. We see each other next week on Morrowind Monday. And the right next thing will be this I month's story time. So have fun listening to the story time. And we see each other next week. Bye bye. Silence by Ganfaril Kimmer. I've heard of you, said the old vagabond, very impressed. Aren't you the adventurer who slew all those ash vampires in Ghostgate a couple months back? That I am, said Oristian Silverthorn with a weary smile for his admirer. He knew that his name was not yet legendary and it was best to be polite. And you are? My name would have no meaning to you, but I'm Era Darothil, he said, raising a glass of grief. I hail from the region of Ghostgate, which is how I heard your name. Are you on an adventure as we speak? Yes, said Silverthorn with a grim expression. I'm challenged to rid the Gracelands of a rogue battle mage by the name of Agro Maro. I've heard of him as well, said Darothil. He is said to be very powerful, an implacable foe. This is why I'm drinking now, sighed Silverthorn. So tell me, what's your profession? I do nothing, said Darothil with some measure of pride. But in my youth I used to teach the skills of illusion at the University of Gwilym. Oh, perhaps you can help me then, said Silverthorn, suddenly excited. Can you teach me the spell Silence? I can certainly pay you. I know that spell, said Darothil. You might find invisibility very helpful as well, or perhaps darkness which would allow you to sneak up on old Egro Amaro. No, said Silverthorn firmly. I only have time to learn one spell. I have to kill Egro Amaro, collect the award, and be back in Gnesis as quickly as possible. My wife worries when I'm away. Darothil agreed, and as the two settled back in their seats at the corner club and tossed back glasses of grief, the old man shared his knowledge of the spell. He explained what it truly meant to bend sound, creating a cone of silence as a glass can bend light. He had Silverthorn close his eyes while he tapped the side of his glass, making him picture the sound as the physical entity it was before it was extinguished. The adventurer, after a few hours of instruction, paid the old teacher and set off on his way. In Doranian, Agro stronghold was not far from Sedrith Mora, and he soon saw the blight and ruin that was the battle mage's calling card. Delving into the depths of the ruins, Silverthorn was set upon by the servitors of Agro living and undead. With his enchanted ebony blade, he cut through legions before facing the master himself in the desolate main hall. Agro bowed to his adversary sardonically and then prepared to unleash a fireball to incinerate him. Before he had uttered the first word of the spell, he suddenly found that all the creaking and sighing of the ruins around him had been stilled. He opened his voice to speak, but there was no sound. Silverthorn took his time, strolling across the length of the hall before dispatching the battle mage with one stroke of his blade. The adventurer rushed back to the tribunal temple where he had received his quest, accepted the gold and the thanks, and was back in his house in Gnesis, but a few days later. His wife Leah was beside herself with worry. All I could do night after night is toss and turn. I kept imagining you burned to ashes by that battle mage, and where would that leave me?
Do we have enough gold that I could support myself if you, St. Seren, let it not be so, were killed during one of these jaunts? I don't think so. Why couldn't you get a nice position at the Fighters Guild right here in town? I hear they're looking for a trainer for the Imperial Guard. I know, I know, you want a life of adventure and danger and freedom, but if you'd only take one moment to think of me, stuck here all by myself, worrying about you. I suppose you liked it if I took more of an interest in your work, but it's like I was telling Sir Calicia Vignum the other day. I said, Calicia, what good is a husband? Leah continued to talk, deaf to the fact that her words were dead before they left her mouth. Silverthorn smiled and nodded his head, enjoying the silence. He could have killed Egruamaro without the spell, he considered, but he would not have survived his wife.